This is Twit. Um, here's a shocker. I don't know if you watched this in April. We did. We actually streamed Benson Wong's keynote for NVIDIA. Samabul Samit and I did. Benson did it from his kitchen, as he's been doing during the pandemic, talking about all the different areas. I think NVIDIA is really my, one of the most interesting companies, probably the most interesting chip company out there right now, making chips not only for graphics processors and gaming machines, but also Bitcoin miners, but also graphics processors for cars, artificial intelligence, uh, they're just firing on all cylinders. <laughs> NVIDIA revealed in a blog post <laughs> this week that that April keynote, that was, uh, was CGI. They modeled his kitchen, but they didn't just model his kitchen. They modeled him. And for at least a portion of the keynote, Benson Wong was not Benson Wong. He was a CGI model of Benson Huang. Now I have to say, having broadcast that whole thing, I had no idea we weren't watching the real deal. I mean, in a way that gives new meaning to deep fakes. If you can, without telling anybody, have your CEO giving a keynote, but it's a computer generated version of him. Look at, here's the, uh, <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> Uncanny Valley for sure. But, uh, they got it working pretty well for the fooled me. I have to say, um, they generated his kitchen. And the only thing that was a giveaway is that at, toward the end of the keynote, Benson's standing there in his kitchen, and all of a sudden it goes whoosh, and flies out in a 3D space, and he's standing in the middle of nowhere. Pretty wild. It's pretty terrifying. You should it, have this done. Bit, um, I should have it done for me? Is that what you're thinking, Mike? That's a, you could podcast forever. <laughs> First thing I was thinking. I am posing <laughs> right now. <laughs> I feel like whichever startup could come up with some kind of a digital identifier that we can all wear while we're broadcasting that, that oh. will uniquely identify us as being actually us. I feel like that company is going to it's going to go places anyway, and, and I feel like we need that like yesterday. Soon. QR code tattoo on our foreheads. Exactly. It's something like that. Yep. It's pr it's pretty amazing. Um, I th you know, only 14 seconds of Benson was fake, but it was I couldn't tell you where the 14 seconds were. Um, and, and the kitchen background was entirely. It fake. was always fake. The whole, the yeah, whole yeah. thing. That's, that's that. I think is the thing. You know, you can now put someone anywhere convincingly. It's amazing. Um, deep fakes, right? I mean, that means you can. The sky's the limit. So Terrifying. Neil Stevenson does talk about this a little bit in his most recent. I don't know if it's most recent. Probably is. He writes a novel a week, so maybe not. Uh, novel, The Fall. In it, uh, and it's in the near future. Kids have um, projected masks they wear that, that are different persona. And when you project the, the mask, face recognition, everything says, oh, this is Leo 3 and he's a partier or whatever. And it's a different persona in order to have kind of some privacy in a world where there is zero privacy. They create their own. Yeah. And I think that I do remember... Maybe it was blockchain, but they were using a way to verify that that actually is one of my personas. I think that was in the novel as well. So you, you're not far off, Mike. Yeah. And there's a bunch of CGI, not video CGI, but CGI uh, influencers on Instagram. And, mm. you know, some of their followers don't know that they're not an actual person. Well, so there's the TikTok uh, Tom Cruise, right? Well, you're right. There's that one. That's really creepy. They use yeah. a um, Tom Cruise impersonator to get the um, here. Let me see if I can to get the face and everything to kind of be roughly a accurate, and then they put on top of it a deep fake of actual of Tom Cruise's face. So the body and the gestures and the movements are this impersonator and the voice. <laughs> it was very good. It's pretty convincing. Yeah. to really cut through the grind okay just another tip for you talkers or the tip talk, <clears throat> the tiktok tips i i'm getting too old for that i don't <laughs> he Internet. he's really got it's a good impersonation but <laughs> made all the better because the face is tom cruise's hey, deep up, fake TikTok? face look <laughs> i do a lot of my own stunts but i also do a lot of industrial cleanup <laughs> <laughs> that's actually pretty funny <laughs> I mean, the, you know, the, the scary thing about this is is not that like 
a company like NVIDIA can do it with all of these resources and technology and engineering. It's that with TikTok and Instagram, you're yeah. seeing yeah. Vid- very simple video editing tools that are sliding into the deep fake territory. <sighs> I guess yeah, it's just you can't, the whole idea of... Well, well, what I hope is that the world understands before this starts happening that not to believe what they see, but there's still right now this notion, it's part of the problem we're having in this country, that if I saw it on the internet, it must be true. 